congratulations on the film, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. So Thank yesterday you so felt all kinds of emotions. Yeah, it, it doesn't leave you skipping. Let's no. Let's put it that way. Yeah. <laughs> it was, it's a lot to take in. Um, yeah. It's being described as a thriller, but how would the two of you describe this story? I like how Tom puts it. It's a cautionary tale. Hmm. Um, it, it, it's sort of a... Yeah, I mean, it definitely has elements of thriller, but it also has um, sort of a like an emotional underscoring that allows you to feel, um, you know, empathetic and attached to the characters. Hmm. And I, yeah, that's... <laughs> you second that. Put, yeah. Um, and how would you describe, I mean, you play two characters in the film. You play Susan, of course. Uh, can you describe your characters for us a little bit? I play... Um, I dual characters in a way. It's, it's 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 hard to describe them, but Edward really is um, the uh, writer of the novel that um, Susan is reading in the movie. He sends her a manuscript. They used to be married. He is her ex-husband, and I also play Tony, the main character in the book that Edward's written that Susan is reading, and um, the narrative of the movie really comes from Susan reading that book yeah. and you learn about their relationship Edward and Susan's relationship um, through Susan's memory of it mm -hmm. while she's reading the book yeah it's true and I play Susan who is as we meet her an art gallerist who's sort of um, feeling kind of depressed and sort of um, dissatisfied with her life and her choices and um, she receives a manuscript from her ex-husband and begins reading it and it sort of takes her on a journey through her past and this dark story and it and makes her examine her choices. She Which might be mean? sad but she is impeccably dressed I have to say. <laughs> Absolutely it's Some very true. Still, you can still be sad and be <laughs> impeccably dressed. I'm sad but I'm dressed well. <laughs> no I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm so sorry Jake. Like, I had to that just happened. <laughs> Atlanta's hour. That's really done. Oh, um, but um, yeah, I mean, she she puts herself together, but that's kind of her armor. Yeah. Uh, she can go out into the world and present herself as successful, present herself as authentic, because people will accept it as long as she presents it as such. And that is sort of how we are in, in a way. As long as you can present it, people will accept that mm. you're doing all right. Yes, yeah, very well yeah. said. Yeah. Um, and then talk to me about working with Tom on this project. It. It's a big undertaking to have three storylines in one film, and yeah. he does it beautifully and impeccably. Um, talk to me about working with him and, and what it is about both him as a storyteller and a director that has made this come together so perfectly. There, I mean, there was a clarity and a surety to his vision before he even, I think, offered either of us these roles. Mm -hmm. I think he is very, I'm not, I, he's very well planned. Um, and in that sense, I think he came to us with a very clear understanding. Obviously, he wrote the screenplay, which is brilliantly written. But I think he came to us with his vision and, and along with the words he wrote and a very clear idea of all these narrative yeah. points. And so to work with him is to know that he's done so much work beforehand and you feel like you're in very safe, capable hands of someone who's also very empathetic who loves human behavior, who really respects actors, who respects the process of actors, but at the same time is extraordinarily specific in terms of how he visualizes yeah. what he's written. And his specificity is thoughtful, you know what I mean? It's yes. not just specific to be specific or out of some sort of a neuroses. It really is so thought out and so planned, but in that he allows for us to he he was able to sort of let go of the characters and allow us to to sort of breathe life into them and um sort of um in a way i sometimes felt like i was um tom you yeah know? i i think i was in a way um he was my muse on set so it's funny you say that because i i had this feeling after a while that you know tom would act out the scenes for me sometimes yeah. he would sort of like just he one yeah. time he like was pounding the ground and weeping showing I you know uh, showing me the scene he was the so way he had written it so unconscious in it yeah. yeah and I thought this is also Edward and Tony are a real large part of who part Tom of is as well Absolutely. I think his presentation sometimes is very much like Susan but yeah. I think inside there's there is a lot happening a lot of vulnerability and sensitivity and mm -hmm. and he is tortured in a lot of ways and he is also a writer mm -hmm. you know Absolutely